Matt, uh, several facets here. You look at the box score, usually lead to a defeat. Uh, outshot from threes, outshot from the line, out rebounded. However, your, uh, your depth, I think you outscored them 45 20 in bench points and seemed like Bryson Scott in the first half and Sterling Carter in the second half really made big plays for you. <coughs> As you will assess this game, is that kind of a lot of what you see? Well, I thought, um, you know, we were really good in the first half. At times, really bad. There was nothing really in between. And, um, we had some, some lineups in there that gave us energy, and then we had some lineups in there that didn't have any energy. Um, and you got to give Ryder credit. They, um, they spread you out, and uh, they make everybody be able to contain the dribble, and um, they were getting those calls, driving the basketball, and they just stayed with it. And I thought that was smart um, on their part. But, no, I thought Bryson was great our, our bench. Um, was very good. I thought Jay Simpson had a couple extra effort plays there at the end um, to, the, to seal the victory. Um, it was a great sign um, from him. But no, it's each one of the guys, including Rayfield Davis, I thought they did a really good job. And it's a it's a good thing to be able to go he and foul trouble to go to other guys and uh, be able to be able to go to some of those other guys that give us a lift it was probably the difference. Matt, you brought Sterling Carter here to hit threes and to be a you know, defensive presence and to have a better employees and presence there, too. And it seemed like he did all three of those things for you tonight. Yeah, I, I thought Sterling and uh, you know, Kendall both struggled from threes, but I thought they had good threes. Um, but I thought they did. I thought you know, Kendall um, had, had a tough night. I thought Sterling kind of picked us up um, you know, with just making plays and being around the basketball and, and bringing a lot of energy. Coach, what does AJ have to do to improve on this game? Well, I, I don't think um, he was able to get into a flow. He had so much foul trouble. I decided not to bring him back to get that third, which he got, you know, um, early in that second half, and he, he just never got going. And um, you know, as a big guy, you know, it's uh, big guys getting foul trouble it seems like more than others. So you've been through it before. So just trying to get yourself ready to play. But we got to do a better job of containing the dribble. And helping. There's too many people who are making direct drives and attacking uh, the rim early in the game, and that's how we got in foul trouble. Um, coach, with, with two of your bigs out, how important was it defensively for your guards to kind of set the tone? Well, we, you know, we wanted to, to stay into them and not let them get into a rhythm, but we also didn't want to keep putting them to the free throw line. <coughs> and uh, I just think we have to have um, you know better poise at those times of just keeping the ball in front of us, not fouling them. Um, because you don't have those bigs on the back line, or if you do, you know, you have them um, back there playing tender because of the foul trouble. But they tried to stretch us out, and they tried to get their big to drive us, and uh, at times it, it hurt us, and at times, especially at the end, I thought we did a good job. Uh, Coach, uh, Ronnie, if I, my math is right, 17 for 27 from the field this season, uh, much more efficient. Can you talk a little bit about what he's been able to do in terms of being smarter about when to attack? And how that's impacted the team. Well, I think he's done a good job. You know, he, he's worked on his game. He's put time in um, to his, um, you know, make some threes, make some pull ups. But uh, he's just picking the spots. I think we have more weapons this year, and so he doesn't have to do quite as much. But uh, you know, he has a big time night if he knocks down his free throws. Uh, but but he also made some some big plays at key times. And that's what we need him to do. Yeah, this is for Sterling and Bryson. If you could both answer this for me. Um, you know, Coach Painter's told all of us that he thinks he has between eight and nine starters at least. And tonight was pretty much an example of that in that three of your five starters, quite frankly, really struggled tonight. And you two at different points in the game came in and each of you kind of won the game, if you will. Uh, could you both talk about what you tried to bring tonight, Bryson maybe in the first half more and Sterling in the second? Well... Me and Sterling, we just uh, we just want to come in and just uh, bring energy. Uh, we know that uh, uh, we get, we just got to take a full advantage of our opportunities when they come, and uh, and just help the team uh, bring bring that intensity and energy that that they, that they were lacking. And, uh, I'm just I was just trying to just do what Coach Banner asked me to do, and uh, it, it worked out. Sterling. Um, to go off what Bryson said, I, I feel like we, we sit there um, and wait our turn to go in. 
but at the same time, we're in tune to the game, and we know, we see what the, the group before us does and what they don't do, so we just go out there and try to do our best and, and bring as much energy as possible and just uh, cover our assignments. Sterling, the, uh, you, know, you made some contributions in the first half of this game. How much does that help you just be in the flow, be, be ready when it's later in the game and it came down to those, some of those crucial plays in the last couple minutes? Um, I feel like it just gave me more confidence. Uh, I, I've been lacking a little bit of confidence uh, throughout the beginning of the season. and, uh, and it just, just my start to the game today was, uh, was a little different, and, and um, it just gave me more confidence. Uh, Sterling, just uh, obviously when you came to Purdue, a lot was talked about your, uh, the strength of your game being your shooting, but you always said that you, know, you feel like you can impact games in a lot of other ways than just with your jump shooting. That's sort of what you did there down the stretch. Is that kind of... Um, the sort of player you um, think you always are that you, know, you can make big plays on defense and um, on yeah, boards. I, I feel like that 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 definitely describes my game. Um, my shot is off right now, but I know that I can impact the game in other ways, and, and that's what I've been continuing to do. And try not to harp so much on my shot not going in, but continuing to help my team in other ways. Jay, how much of an emphasis in practice and then in, you know the film room has you know these new foul rules been? And um, I mean. Do you see it you know, taken away from your style of play from years past? I mean, how have you seen it affect this team right now? Um, you know, in practice, the coach let us go at it. So I feel like when we get in the game, we got that practice mentality. And we can't play like that. You know, it's the new rules. We got to keep our hands off and just move our feet. We go back to Sterling. You know, less than a year ago, you were with another program, and uh, essentially, you know, they didn't want you anymore. Does that... How much has that sort of motivated you, and um, did you come into this season with maybe a little bit of chip on your shoulder wanting to prove something to some people? Does a game like tonight help you do that? Um, I would say so, yeah. Uh, I just I just felt thankful for the opportunity to become a Boilermaker and be here with these guys and, and be given a great opportunity like this. And, you know, uh, you don't miss something until you don't got it. And I feel like I hope that's what this, that school feels, and, you know, I'm glad to be here and, and play hard for this team. For Ronnie, um, this is... This is two games now out of four where you guys have to make big plays in the final minutes of the game. You know, we talked a lot about last season and how that didn't happen a whole lot. And how, just um, what does that do for this whole team's kind of confidence right now that you know you've been able to pull these um, these two games out when they were so close at the end? Uh, I mean, just overall, I don't think we uh, want the game to be that close at the end of the game anyway. So we're just trying to uh, fight to you know make it be a uh, better score at the end and not let them, uh, you know, be so close at the end and let us be on top more. And just uh, just my intensity of closing out the game, I've been, I thought I've been doing a good job. See, I knocked down a few more free throws, but uh, I think my team's starting to believe in me and we're uh, all trusting each other.